Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing my fake crate for the month of September. I know it's December. They're behind on shipping out these boxes, but they said that they're hoping to catch up in early t next year. So hopefully they do. Um, honestly, this is not one of my favorite book boxes to receive, but I still keep buying them because I like what, I like the book covers they do. Um, but most of their items are pretty meh, but anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this box. So, here's what it looks like on the inside. And let's go ahead and take out the first item, which is this white box here. Um, yeah, let's see what's inside here. So, it's to be a water um bottle in the shape of a milk carton which i always wanted one of these so i'm actually pretty happy with this um the design is also pretty cute um and yeah i'm very happy to receive this to be honest so i i guess this is a great start to this box because this is actually very really nice um very really nice design don't know what's the um inspired by so i guess we can see if I can find the spoiler card in here. I can show you guys the items and stuff. So this month's box was, um, what is it called? Uh, bait and switch, bait and switch. And then we have the water bottle, which is inspired by, um, the Remnant Chronicles. I have no idea what that is. To be honest oh wait no it's inspired by kiss of deception um i haven't read that um series yet but i do want to so hopefully i'll read that soon um but yeah that's a great start the next thing we have is a luggage tag um to be honest i probably won't ever use this um yeah, I mean, it's cute or whatever, but I don't really travel. And then when I do travel, I don't really take a suitcase with me. Um, but, I mean, it is a really nice design. It is really pretty. I like the colors. Um, but it's probably something that I won't really use that much. But that is inspired by The Vicious Grace, which was a book that they had in their box a couple of months ago. So that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, let's move on to the next item, which is a um, the monthly acrylic stand that they do. And this is inspired by the Gilded Wolves, which I just received my Fairy Loot Special Edition of that series, which I do want to read pretty soon. But here is the stand. Um, it seems like they're in a cookie jar for some reason. Don't know. Haven't read the series. But um, it's cute. Um, I normally just put these in my bookshelves um, next to the book series if I own them. So that's probably what I'm going to do with this as well. Um, but to be honest, I'm not that big of a fan of the art style that they do for these acrylic stands. I wish they had a different artist, but whatever. Uh, so that's an okay item. Moving on, we have a, like a little post-it tab. There are not that many on them, but it is to review books. So it's like a sticky so you can rip them and then place it, whatever. Um, that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, I do like it, but I wish they just done a journal. Um, because I know fairly I'll create and limb create when they do like these review thingies they just put them in a journal so that's what i wish that they did but that's okay um yeah it's just a notepad but i do like it i like the design of it i like the colors so it's pretty nice and then we have a an ace of space art print um which i did love this um book so and i actually like the art print the art print is pretty nice and i love the book so this is really nice. Um, 
and yeah that's pretty cool the next thing we have is a polaroid art print which is inspired by the city of brass um a series that i have not read and i don't know if i will ever read to be honest i'm not really interested in it but the art print is nice the art is pretty cute so and it says don't mind me just stirring the pot so that's really nice um they include these every single month and again i just wish they did something else but whatever okay so now we're actually moving to the last item which is the book which is the only thing i really like about this subscription box they don't really do any custom thing to the actual book they only just do a different cover which i'm okay with but they seem like they're doing more um with the book covers but we'll see um they did include two signed book plates which i'm assuming that's by accident so that's cool i guess <laughs> um but this month's book is last of the T thailand's by Sophie Kim and I just love this cover. I prefer this over the original cover. This is so pretty. I love it so much. The artist did such a great job on this cover. And again, um, they do they don't do nothing special to these books. They're just pretty plain. But I keep getting them for their actual um cover redesigns because their cover redesigns are so pretty and i know um in january actually um they just listed their january box on sale and i know um for their january book they're doing stamp pages um on here so that's actually pretty cool so i'm excited to finally see and um, see them step up their boxes because compared to every other book box out there their items and their books are so behind um with the customizations and stuff but um i'm gonna keep getting fake rate and hopefully it gets better i've been getting that for about a couple months now and um i just hope i just hope they do better but i i really do love their book covers they do they're so pretty um so yeah i'm really happy with this um the items wise um the items are just okay. I do actually like the milk carton water bottle because it's so pretty. I always wanted like a water bottle that was shaped like this. So yeah, it's mostly just art prints and not items. Um, and then the stand, it was okay. Uh, the luggage tag, probably don't like. I like the notepad. That's pretty cool. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this um, book and the items that they included um yeah thanks for watching make sure to like comment below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys